Agden Hispanic Closer. It's only done in camera mode, so but we're just going to continue what you left off. And Sorry about that. Sorry about that. of the thing can never, with those sacrifices, sacrifices which they offer year by year, continuing yeah. to make the commerce unto perfect. Verse 2. For then would they not have ceased to be offered? That's a question. Because that the worst verse once heard should have had no more content of sin. Now remember, the Jews, how did they pray up in the Old Testament? Question. What they would do is they would put their hands on an animal, tie up the leg, and they will cut off the head of this animal to cover your sin. Now, question, Keaton. Yes, what is it? The question is that, oh, I think it's the time. The question is <laughs> why do we have to put our hands on this animal each time we sin? Because Jesus. Don't really get myself, have not been the ultimate sacrificial of the land. Now, mind you, there were many different animals, but if you were considered a red in all the uh, um, Testament, you gave one of these a land. They were considered more uh, something that was closer to God than others that were not called lynch. Lynch, because they were the most common So, what they would do is, let's say, I don't know, somebody would kill someone. Well, a uh, priest, I murdered somebody, they will bring me something to offer to God, I will cover it. Now, if you think about it, how many times is an actual person can be? Question like what, nine, ten thousand, eight, twenty a day? You have to give twenty of these <laughs> to cover twenty feet. That's a lot. Now what if you didn't have a sheet to cover your feet? Amen. Question. Did you know, even when Jesus even said this himself, you instantly, instantly go straight to hell and work. The Bible even says some even that instant, because they couldn't have their skin covered in the Old Testament. God was really, really strict in the Old Testament. Okay? So, he brought this to the Hebrew because the Hebrews were still stuck on what they used to do. They were still stuck on sin, and they were debating about it. Oh, my God, wait a minute. We're not going to the Old Testament anymore. You don't need this. Let the animals go. You know? You don't have to bring this all for a sheep or a lion. You don't need this anymore. That's what he's talking about here. Verse 10 to uh, verse 10, 1, chapter 10, verse 1 and 2. That's the key to read. But in those sacrifices, there is a remembrance again made to sin each year. What is he saying? Every year you come back. I'm seeing next year. I'm seeing next year. If you're going to keep on doing it, you're going to keep coming out. He's coming back. I'm going to get out of that because I'm seeing, you know, God. <laughs>
they be plain and simple. Okay? Uh, verse 6. In burnt offerings, he said, because remember, when you kill the animal, we have to burn the black. So today, you know, for us, what does it give us? Anybody that's getting medical, we can smell what's out of the wild, and smell dead flesh. So they call it burnt offering. He said, in burnt offering and sacrifices for sin, thou had no pleasure in it. God is about to kill an innocent animal. God is about to make this sense. He made animals so we can what? Because we can eat and clothe our sins. It makes sense. It makes sense, right? I mean, look, God will hear some of his body, some of his bones, some of his things. It's true, right? And God, but they can use their bones for, you know, back in the day, get reason and all that, whatever. But that's what animals meant. God left us in charge of an animal. Not to cover our sins because we could, you know. No, you know, we just had to hold the drink. I mean, even though everybody can't come short. But what I'm saying is God never wanted us to kill anything else. Mm-hmm. That's what Paul was trying to get the people to understand. Okay? Now, mm-hmm. verse 7, he said, Then said I, no, which means to look, by the way. In other words, look, I come in the garden of the book, it is written of me. What book? Book of Hebrews, okay? To do thy will of God. What is the will of God? The book of Hebrews means it's considered the Holy Bible, which help us to understand the will of God. Who is God? God is Jesus. Okay? Verse 8. About when he said, Sacrifice and offering and burnt offering and offering for sin, thou wouldest not, neither had his pleasure within which are offered by the law. In other words, it was their law to do this, and God comes to all the time, obey the laws of the land. If you run a red light, God comes to get the police officer, you vote the law, you have to pass that law. It's a Christian and the right thing to do. So it was their law to do this, even though God never did like it, he still let, made them respect their law, their tradition. Okay? That's what he's saying here in verse 8. Um, now, verse 9, he says, Then said he, Look, O Lord, I come to do thy will, O God. He taken away the first, which is what? The first offering of lamb that he may establish the second. He said, then he said, look, I come. Who is that, Jesus? I am Jesus. All right. Jesus. 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 He's talking about Jesus in this verse. Very important. Listen. This is very tough. Jesus! <laughs> Wake up, Jesus! It's alright. I want you to pay attention to this. Jesus, because this is a help you keep this. This will keep us from struggling on whether we're really saved or not. Yes. This is going to help you right now. But, but that's why God allows you to do this and show enemies. A lot of other preachers preach. Sometimes, you know, we drift off, but if you show them sometimes what's going on, they'll have a better understanding when you preach. This is how I see the word of God for now. I like to break it down. And people can really understand that the Bible is very confused. So when he said, he said, I come to do thy will, O God. He taken away the first and established the second. Now, question. What are the similarities of these pictures? They're both humble. They're both being sacrificed. And they're both covered in sin. Pop quiz. Which one is permanent and which one is temporary? This one is temporary. This one is permanent. Right. Okay? So basically, you can take a look at <laughs> this. He says, uh, verse 10, by, he says, by the which we are sanctified. What sanctified means? To be what? Cleansed. Yes. Okay? That's what we call faith. That's right. Through the offering of the body. Of Jesus Christ, one for what? Oh! That means if you still come short, all you have to do is be the little Why do you think that people have a hard time struggling? Oh, I don't really think or, or, or I can't struggle. And you're struggling, and why do you have to worry about that anymore? You still suffer on this. You still struggle on this. Why do you have to worry about it? Yes. Why it's hard to be saved is because, it, it's because it's like you. Don't really, I don't think you don't believe that Jesus paid it all, but the devil makes you want to believe, well, you can't live good enough. I can't live good enough. Nobody really can really live good enough. Yeah, that's you just have to pay for it all because he knew if he didn't pay for it all, we won't have nothing to eat to make it sound of sin. Because think about how many kids, the Hitler would have been the Old Testament. Y'all know who Hitler was. He slaughtered thousands of people in Israel. Trying to kill America, trying to take over the world into there, right? If 
if you want to listen to the priest, oh, I can kill half the world. We would definitely have to handle the priest. Because every time you see him, he has to kill something or something does. So what he's saying is, verse 11, and every priest, now not preacher, priest is the difference, right? Every priest said it today with ministry, which means preaching, or turning about God, and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices, which can never take away sin. The same sacrifice, many days were coming up short too at times. For the same thing you know, it's the same hope. Everybody has to do this. But Jesus was getting, I mean, God was getting tired of that. So God, the Spirit, made himself a earthly body. Because in order, except for God, in order for angel or a demon or us to live on planet Earth, you gotta have a a body, right? Because what? Water, food, and air. It takes those away. What happens? You die. You die. So he said in verse twelve. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice, how many times did Jesus demand God? One. Very good. Look, it's right here. He said, but this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sin forever. Look at him. Because for one, the coming guy, we got to believe that there is a God. God is working through you. 
church, like my cousin, like no need to hear God's little way in. He told me yesterday, I've been in the church in a while. That's a good question. And that's why I say God is blessed for blessing. Does that mean I got to go to hell? Does that mean I just judge me? No, because the Bible says, "Such what some of you." 
is the kind of how we make it in those days. That's us. Say, oh, 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 oh,
The good news is that you would have to worry about, well, am I still safe? Because remember, in the Old Testament, remember, in the Old Testament, they had to use this. Now, this is the comparison. In the Old Testament, and they were a holy people, I mean, Moses even saw God. But in the Old Testament, if you come short, and if you sin, I'm about to close in about 10 more minutes, you have to have one of these. Yes. You have to have one. Every sin, not just one. People think, well, if I sin three times, just one sin? No. You can be holy in Jerusalem. Come with a little baby, you just argue and go up, and God was really hard on all of them. He really was hard on them because he was a really careful guy to you. They were trying to get to God to knock these people down, you know, down and go, this is an okay God. And then God was like, man, you have to take this animal, set them on top, and oh, they're losing the old man. You know, that's what they did. And then 10 minutes later, you had not seen us.